Okay, hello and good morning. Let's take a look at the bell work here. All right, so name, date, and period. Today is 3-5. Okay, and uh, this is week 9-3. Anyway, if you get 150 pads for 25.99, how much is... The unit price. How much does one cost? Remember, money goes on top. So you're going to put the money on top. And then you get your calculator and you divide. So 25.99 divided by 150 gives you a unit price of 17.3 cents or 0.173, which is about 17.3. So it's about uh, 17 cents each, and that is the unit price, okay? That way you can compare apples to apples and oranges to oranges. This one right here, you put the money on top, divide it by two, and you cut it in half. I think it's $1.75, but let's check. 3.5 divided by 2 equals 1.75. So it's $1.75 each. What is unit price? Unit price is the cost for one. For one item. That way you can compare apples to apples and oranges to oranges. All right, let's move on. Today we're going to actually do proportion. Now look up here. Copy down this first one right here. The question is, do these form a proportion? And the only way you're going to know is if you divide each of them. So you're going to take 4 divided by 2, which is 2, and you're going to see if that's equal to 20 divided by 6. So 20 divided by 6 equals 3.33. So these are not the same, so this does not form a proportion. They have to be equal, write this down, equal, both of them, to be a proportion. Okay? So you divide it, and you divide it, and you see if they're equal. If not, you say no. So for number one, you say not a proportion. Okay, let's go on here. Now let's copy down number seven and let's work it. Okay, so to solve this one, you're going to cross multiply. So it's 10 over K equals 8 over 4. So go from the bottom to the top. So that gives you 40 is equal to 8K. And then you divide by 8 and that gives you 5. So 10 over 5 has to be equal to 8 over 4. It's a proportion. This is 2, and this is 2. So yes, this is the correct answer. Okay, that's how you do those. You cross multiply. All right, and that's what you're doing today. So this is your worksheet if you can't be with us. I'll make it a little smaller, and you can always copy it down if you can't find one. Okay? or get it from a friend. And here's the back side. And hopefully the printer is working better today. All right, let's move on now to college algebra. All right, so for college algebra, you need to factor these. Well, to factor this first one here, um, you always try to factor something out but you can't. So you're going to multiply 2 times 2 and get 4. And you're looking for a combination that gives you 5. Well, it's 1 times 4. That adds to give you 5. So you're going to go ahead and change this to 1n and 4n right here. So you're going to say 2n squared plus 1n plus 4n plus 2. And then you're going to factor this by taking an n out. So you're left with 2n plus 1, 
Here you're going to take a two out right here, and you're going to be left with the same thing. And once you get the same thing, you take one of those out, and you're left with n plus 2. And that's how you factor that. Okay? All right, let's finish it up. Copy this one down. On this one right here, you may be able to factor it the way it is, but you got to take out what they have in common. They all have a 3. And if you fail to take that 3 out, you'll be wrong. So this is going to be 3k squared plus 22k plus 7. 7 times 3. Okay? You can't take anything else out. 7 times 3 is 21, so you're going to factor that to get this. So it's got to be 1 times 21 is going to add up to give you 22. So you're going to substitute these two in place of that one. And you're going to work it the same way. So keep bringing that 3 down. So it's going to be 3k squared plus 1k plus 21k plus 7. Okay? Once you get to this point, you're going to take out a k. So you're left with k times 3k plus 1. Here you're going to take out a 7, and you're left with 3k plus 1. Then you're going to take out a 3k plus 1, and you're left with k plus 7. But you can't forget that 3 on the outside. If you forget that 3 right there, it would be wrong. Okay, so remember, factor first. Today we're going to do something called difference of two squares. Copy down number one. Okay, so to do the difference of two squares, what we're going to do here is factor. And that might be a little too bright. Maybe the lights are making it a little too bright. I don't know. In any event, difference of two squares has two terms. You see... What squared minus what squared? Well, 1 times 1 is 1. That's a perfect square. And 3 times 3 is 9. So it's called the difference of two squares. So this is going to be 3x plus 1 and 3x minus 1. Okay? This one right here is going to be, let me think, 7 times 7. Right? And this one's going to be 2 times 2. So it's going to be 2n plus 7 and minus 7. And that's called the difference of two squares. Now, when you get down here, you might have to factor something out. See, like this one here? You might have to take a 3 out of here. I think there's a 3. So you would have to first factor out a 3, I would imagine. And actually, I think you could probably take a 6 out. Okay? And then use your calculator and finish it up. If you get stuck, let me know. Here's your worksheet for today. Make it a little smaller so you can see it. If you're at home and you need to copy it down, go ahead. It's here. And then the back side, I don't know that we're going to get to it, but the back side is here. And this is factoring completely. All right, have a good morning.